Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a sea otter. Start by drawing an oval as a guide for the head. To draw the oval, first make two small marks to indicate the oval's length. Make the bottom mark farther to the right than the top mark. Then draw two more small marks to indicate the oval's width. The mark on the right should be higher than the mark on the left. Connect the small marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the oval. Leave enough room on the right side for the rest of the body. On the bottom right side of the head, draw another oval as a guide for the top part of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this oval too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the oval and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the oval. Pay attention to the size of this oval in relation to the head. Tilt the oval so that it has the same orientation as the head. On the right side, draw another oval as a guide for the lower section of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this oval as well. Don't draw the ovals for the body too close together or the torso will be too short. Inside the head, draw a sloping horizontal line as a construction guide to help you place the facial features later on. At the top, draw a tilted vertical line for another construction guide. Inside the top part of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the front leg. The line should be similar to an upside down letter U. The top of this guide should touch the edge of the oval. To the right, draw a shorter curved line as a guide for the other front leg. Draw this shape along the path of the oval. On top of the oval on the right, draw another long curved line as a guide for the hind leg. This line should also be similar to an upside down letter U. Pay attention to the size of this guide in relation to the oval. To the right, draw a long angled line as a guide for the other hind leg. Bend the bottom of the line to the left so that it connects to the oval. Add a sloping line in the middle of the shape to finish the guide. Connect the ovals on the left using long lines to finish the guide for the top section of the body. Bend the bottom line to indicate the surface of the water. Connect the body ovals using long lines to finish the guide for the torso. A big part of the body will be underwater so make the torso thin. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on top of the horizontal construction guide and on either side of the vertical guide. The eye on the right should be higher up because the head is tilted. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Make the sides of the shapes pointier for the corners of the eyes. Inside each eye, off to the side, draw tiny circles for highlights. In the middle of each eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupils. Near the center of the head, lightly sketch a diamond-like shape as a guide for the nose. Place the nose directly on the area where the construction lines intersect. The nose should be pretty big in relation to the head. On the sides of the nose, draw curved lines for the nostrils. Curve the lines to form circular shapes and create the nostrils openings. Draw a line between the nostrils. Extend the lines for the nostrils to the bottom of the nose. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Darken the top part of the nose using a curved line. The shape of the nose should be similar to an arrow pointing up. 
Under the nose, lightly sketch a curved line for the mouth. Draw the sides of the mouth lower than the middle. When you get the shape of the mouth right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the mouth for a furry texture. Draw a short curved line under the mouth for the lip. Below the mouth, draw a series of short strokes for the furry chin. On the sides of the head, draw a couple of short curved lines for the ears. The ears should be very small in relation to the head. Place the ears on either end of the horizontal construction guide. Add a couple of lines inside the shapes for the ears openings. Use the initial oval as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Draw a series of short strokes along the path of the oval to create the furry shape of the head. Make the sides of the head slightly wider than the initial oval. Don't overlap the ears as you draw the head. Extend the strokes below the ears to create the neck. Don't make the strokes for the fur too long. Draw more strokes along the lower edge of the oval for the bottom part of the head. Leave a few gaps as you add the strokes on the bottom part of the head. Draw more short strokes above the nose to emphasize the shape of the muzzle. Draw these strokes in the shape of a curved line above the nose. Add a few more short strokes on the bottom half of the head for a furry texture. Use the long line that's inside the top part of the body as a guide to draw the front leg. Darken the line using a series of short strokes to create a furry texture. Draw a few slightly longer lines near the tip of the shape for the toes. Use strokes that are slightly longer at the bottom. Darken the shape to the right to create the other front leg. Use short strokes to create a furry texture. Darken the tall shape on the right side to create the hind leg. Use smoother lines as you darken the top part of the shape. Along the top, draw a series of curved lines to separate the toes. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom to extend the shape of the leg. Darken the shape on the right to create the other hind leg. Don't overlap the first hind leg as you draw this shape. Use a series of short strokes to create a furry texture. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use a long continuous line at the bottom to indicate the surface of the water. Make the bottom of the shape wavier than the initial guides. A big portion of the body will be underwater so keep the shape thin. Add a series of short wavy lines under the body for the reflection on the water. Use short lines to create ripples on the surface of the water. Make the shapes under the head and feet bigger than the rest of the body. These lines don't have to be perfect, just draw wavy lines under the body. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Use a dark value to shade the nose, but leave a couple of sections blank for highlights. Use the light value to shade the head. 
use a series of short strokes as you shade to emphasize a furry texture. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Inside the head, the fur radiates outward from the nose. Shade the legs using a dark value. On the body, use strokes that have a horizontal orientation. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a furrier texture. Don't shade too smoothly. A rough value will create more texture on the fur. Shade a few sections along the body using a lighter value to create highlights on the wet fur. Add some value below the body to emphasize the reflection and ripples on the water. Use a medium value to shade the water. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the sea otter. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, vendrawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.